Before anything, I got to apologize to two of my friends out there because they've asked me for a while now to, to um, mention them and I had determined and every day I determined and then I forgot. Oh well, but anyway, I know that they still love me. So, the Ali Lopez channel, A-L-E, Lo Lopez, you know how to spell that, okay? And, and then, all you 37 so it's a l l y o u 37 and that's chris c h r i s and then majkowski m a j k o w s k i and i love you guys and if ever you want to uh be mentioned just ask me and then i'll try to remember okay um Oh yeah, where I where I was was I was just about to get married. So I had a beautiful, beautiful wedding, and maybe someday I'll talk about that. There's not much to say, you know. It's a normal wedding, but beautiful. And then um, and then we went to Saint Croix, the Virgin Islands, for our honeymoon because Jose wanted me to experience where he had grown up, and that was wonderful. But I want to skip ahead to um, my babies. In the next four videos, including today, I'm going to tell the births of my wonderful kids. And so, the, my first baby is Alexandria Faith Alvarez, Lexi. And she was born on pot day, April 20th. <laughs> in um, in 1989 and she um, and she had to change she used to have that as her little uh, email thing but everybody thought she was a big pot <laughs> so she had to change it but anyway so um, okay I had wanted so badly to get married and now I was and have babies I wanted babies so bad and I was already old in my opinion I was 31 my husband was 34 and and so I wanted so badly and my sister sister who's six years younger than I had gotten married um, three years before anyway so one day she called up and I wanted to be the first one to have a baby because she was the first one to get married so one day she called me up and she said um, guess what I'm pregnant and and I was happy for her but I felt sad well little did I know that I was pregnant and my baby ended up being born one month be no one week before hers and um, so I had the firstborn grandchild but anyway um, so what happened was I found out I started to I started to fall asleep I had a job as a um, as a nanny a day nanny you know and and I was falling asleep while I was watching the children and and it was terrible it was terrible but I didn't know why and then I started to feel nauseous all the time and I thought Man, am I sick and it turned out that and Jose was so cute Okay, it was on, um, we were both so excited. So it was on, um, what was it, Labor Day, that he had the, he, all right, he used to work the graveyard shift, you know, so he would be, a, he would be, while I was sleeping, he would be at work and then he would come home. So back in those days, you had to, oh my glasses, back in those days, you had to, um, you couldn't have instant urine and, and, Put it in you had to take the first urine of the morning and then then do it so or something anyway so he's he made me promise that i would save my because we thought maybe i am he made me promise that i would save the first urine <laughs> and then while i was watching the jerry lewis labor day telethon um which is uh, for those of you who don't live in the united states it was for muscular dystrophy a, a telethon that would go on all night and everything and I was just sitting there watching it and waiting and he was in the bathroom like a mad scientist trying to figure out you know doing all the experiment to find out if I was pregnant and I was and so we were we were just beyond beyond happy and so so then um, 
anyway I started to you know we went to the doctor and everything and I started to experience all of oh so much morning sickness it's worth it and it's a good sign actually they tell you because because if you've got morning sickness it means that there's something good going on you've got this chemical or something that you're supposed to have okay so anyway then time progressed and you know it seemed like it was taking forever but really it wasn't and so then when I was eight months pregnant one day we went over to somebody's house to eat and they had KFC and you know I had this huge appetite because I was eating for two and you know you like to take that as <laughs> I was not good about what I ate but you like to take it as an excuse right I ate five pieces of, of uh, KFC and you know how much sodium's in that right so the next morning when I woke up I was I looked like a monster I was unrecognizable I had puffed up my shoes my feet had gotten so big I could not even put on my own shoes I had to wear Jose's shoes and my whole face was was it, it didn't even look like me anyway so we went immediately to the um, to the doctor and they threatened me that that because they did all these tests on me I was there all day and they came in and they said we should take the baby from you right now because you have toxemia and they said that I should that um, but they said we're gonna give you a chance you've got to be good and so and I don't know why for some reason I had to always be on my left side it have something to do with the blood flow or something I had to lay they said we will give you a chance not to put you in the hospital and not to take the baby early if you lay on your left side 24 7 until the baby is about to be born that's one month and if you eat zero sodium and you know what Jose became like Hitler he took it upon himself. He, he organized everything that I was going to eat. He made me, he would make, come home and, and he would make me these turkey burgers with zero salt. We discovered Mrs. Dash, which helped a little bit, but oh my goodness, it was disgusting. I wasn't allowed to have any tuna fish, which was my absolute favorite. I could not have, he would give me a baked potato one day. I was so angry at this diet and I knew that it was I had to do this for the baby's sake but but uh, I was he had made me this turkey burger with zero salt and then he made me this baked potato and instead of putting no butter no no salt no pepper no sour cream he just put some um, what is it called uh, not some non-fat plain yogurt on it and I was so angry <laughs> that I took my fork and I started to attack and murder my food. <laughs> anyway, it worked. Thank God. I became a normal size again and I, the baby was healthy. And even, the, it's unheard of between the diet, my Hitler husband, and, um, and God, of course, blessing, blessing it, all of our efforts. Um, the, I became normal and that's unheard of to get rid of toxemia so thank God but anyway so then we used to we did trial runs am I okay with time honey long. I'm going long we do, oh because it's so maybe maybe we could do this in two things should we do it in two things stop it and start it again or something I don't know Anyway, because I've got, I still got something to say. Yeah, well, yeah, well, well tell, look at the time and see. Just, uh. Oh, okay, what? We'll do it. Do it in two, all right, then turn it off and start it again. Go on, I can, uh, okay. I can increase the time. Okay, okay, he can increase the time, sorry. I'll okay, figure it out. okay, he'll figure it out. Anyway, because, okay, so then what happened was um, we used to make these trial runs to, to the hospital and we saw that, um, that you have to turn at McDonald's so we we had that down pat we went to these Lamaze classes and everything they were worth nothing worth nothing because the pain came upon me and they had they didn't matter at all for me at least I guess they work for some people <sighs> okay Jose sat next to me and said 
okay, honey, now do this kind of breathing and stuff. And I said, shut up, who are you? And then he was trying to, he was trying to pat me or something. And I took his hand and I bit it. <laughs> I was so, and I thought, who is this man? Who does he think he is? He's not going through this. <laughs> anyway, they gave me, it, don't take Demerol, it doesn't work. It does not work. They gave me a shot of Demerol. It did nothing, nothing. They gave me another shot of Demerol. And, and I ended up so that I slept in between the contractions, but I felt every single little jab of pain for the rest of the contractions. And the doctor, and it made me so I couldn't even push out the baby. So then, so, so then the doctor came in and they said, come on, you gotta push it out. And he said, push out that bowling ball. And I was pushing with my head or something. I, I, I didn't know how to push down there. I was just going like this and I don't know what happened. Finally, finally it worked. And, and she came out, but poor Jose, poor Jose, he, he considers himself a, a little fo photographer. You know, he thinks he's great with the camera and everything. And he probably is, but, but anyway. And so he was so excited there to take the pictures, you know, after he cut the cord and all that, he was so excited. And guess what, his camera wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, it like busted at the right mo at that moment. So thank God, I guess for those kind of emergencies, they have these, what are they called? What are those things called? That instant, instant Polaroid. And we had, we only have three pictures of the birth, but anyway, and then the last thing I'm gonna tell before he turns it off, and hopefully I didn't go that long, but anyway, then, okay, so remember I had been on this diet Okay, so, and I, I was so in love with my little baby. But anyway, before I even got to see her, What's they, the baby's name? I'd already said, it's, it's Lexi, Alexandria okay. Faith Alvarez. And we really, we looked at all the books and everything to pick that out. But anyway, um, but anyway, uh, so, so the nurse came in and I, here I had just been through something so tremendous. The nurse came in and said, um, what would you like to eat? And I said, I could have anything I want. And she said, yes. So I had not been able to have my favorite tuna fish for, for a whole month. And then, of course, you're not allowed to eat anything when you're in labor. And so, um, and so uh, I, uh, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, okay, uh, only ice chips and stuff. And so I said, a tuna fish sandwich, please. And I was so excited for my tuna fish sandwich to come. And they bring it to me. And before I could take even one bite, I forgive him. I forgive my husband. But he came in and he took the sandwich and he took almost half of it in one bite. How dare he? I was furious. Who did he think he was? And he said, I've been through a horrendous night waiting for you to have this baby. And I said, but I went through having the baby. Anyway, but we got our precious angel, Alexandria Faith Alvarez, who, she probably won't like me saying it, I, family's the only one who's allowed to call her this. I used to call her my boo, and then I'd change it to buoy. And so, but nobody can say it but the family. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.